Hello, everybody. Um, today we're going to talk about rational roots of polynomials. Now, this is something we did last year um, at length. This was kind of the guess and check method we had to find zero so we could get things down to a quadratic. Um, so most of this should be review. Um, we're going to go over what P and Q are. And remember, factors are P and Q, or a potential zeros are P and Q. Um, using synthetic division to uh, break the polynomial down into a quadratic, and then we're going to do a couple of examples so you can see where we're at. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, P over Q. P are the factors of the constant term. So in this case, 1. What are the factors of 1? Plus or minus 1. Okay, because negative 1 times negative 1 could be 1. Okay, Q. Q are the factors of the leading coefficient. So in our case, 3. We'll box those so they're both boxes. 3. So what are the factors of 3? Plus or minus 1. Plus or minus 3. So we need the factors of P divided by Q. Okay, well that would be plus or minus 1 over 1. And plus or minus 1 over 3. So we have four factors. We have positive 1, negative 1, positive 1 third, and negative 1 third. And obviously if your constant term has more factors it's going to get bigger. Um, more possibilities. You'll see that in the coming examples here. Using synthetic division. Okay. Use synthetic division to find the zeros until you get the equation of a quadratic. Then solve the resulting quadratic. Okay. So here's what we do. And this should be this should be review here, but p const are factors of the constant term plus or minus one plus or minus two plus or minus three plus or minus four plus or minus six plus or minus twelve. Oops, let's do this down here. Plus or minus twelve, and then q equals the factors of the leading coefficient, which in this case is 1, so that's plus or minus 1, okay? Well, P over Q, nothing's going to change because I'm dividing all my P's by 1. So there's all my possibilities, okay? Well, now we use synthetic division, so 1, 4, 3, 12. And remember, we pick a number to plug in to see if it works. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, too bad. Now, how do we know if it works? If your remainder down here ends up being zero. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and plug something in here. So let's go two. Okay. So we got one. Two times one is two. That's, oops, I add those up. That's six. Six times two is twelve. Plus three is fifteen. 50 times 2 is 30. Obviously not going to be it because that's 42. Okay? So obviously 2 doesn't work. So remember, we just keep going until we get one that works. Let's try negative 4. 1. Negative 4. 0. Uh, 0 times negative 4 is 0. Add those up. 3. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. 0. I did it. I've done it and now I'm down to a quadratic because I started out with a cubic function right here and now I'm left with x squared plus 0x plus 3 so x squared plus 3 now I know one of my zeros is my answer here so that's one now I just finished solving this to get the other ones well this one's easy x squared equals negative 3 x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 3, x equals plus or minus i root 3. So here's two of the answers. There's the third one. Okay? Remember, guess and check. Trying to find something that will work. Okay? Examples. Okay, here we go. A couple more examples. Let's just go ahead and go through things. Um, so here we go. P. Factors of my constant, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3. Q, 
factors of my leading coefficient, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. So P over Q is plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 1 half, or not third, 1 half, because i got to divide by 2, and plus or minus 3 halves. Okay? Those are my options. I've got eight things I can plug in. Now I do synthetic division until I get something. So 2, 1, 5, negative 3. Okay, plug something in. Let's try 1. Let's try 1. Okay, 1, or 2 here, sorry. 2 times 1 is 2, 3. 3 times 1 is 3, 8, 8, 5. Not zero, not the answer we're looking for. Okay. Now, my answer could be one of these fractions here. So let's go ahead and try, uh, try one of those. Let's try one half. So two, one half times two is one. That's two, that's one. That is four, or six, excuse me. 6, 6 times 1 half is 3, oh boy, we've done it, 0. Okay, now this leaves me with the resulting quadratic, we'll put that up here, 2x squared plus 2x plus 6. Okay, now we go ahead and solve that, well, so that equals 0. Um, I can factor out a 2 for sure, so that leaves me with x squared plus x plus 3. That equals 0. And that quadratic will not factor, so we run it through the quadratic formula or complete the square. Quadratic formula would probably be easiest. Okay, and I don't have much room to do that. So uh, we'll go right here. So negative... We'll, go, we'll use the original to run it through. So negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And just see what falls out here. So I got negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus, oh, 8 times 6 is 48. All over 4, no wonder it wouldn't factor because it's going to be imaginary, plus or minus the square root of 40, negative 44 over 4. So negative 2 plus or minus uh, square root of negative 1, square root of 4, square root of 11, so all over 4. So negative 2 plus or minus i times 2 times the root 11 over 4. So I can simplify here to negative 1 plus or minus i root 11 over 2 because all these will reduce by half so there's two answers and one half was my other answer okay one more example here one more example here then i'll let you get after it there's my equation so the factors of p which is the constant term plus or minus one plus or minus three Factors of Q, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, okay? So P over Q, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 3 halves, plus or minus 3 fourths. Alright, well now we got to do synthetic division. Do not forget your placeholder here. Oops, I went too far. I can't see what I'm doing. 4, 0, 5, 3. Remember, I need a 0 because I have no x squared term here. And now we're just going to plug numbers in until we get something that works. Okay. Well, let's try 3. Let's try 3 for fun. 4, time, 4 times 3 is 12. That's 12. 12 times 3 is 36. I'm obviously getting way too big. And if you see this early, don't be afraid to quit early because obviously everything's positive. That's way too big. So I'm going to pick a negative number. 
The fraction worked for me last time. Hold on here. I need plus or minus. I didn't get them all. I did not get these all. Three fourths, and then I and then I need plus or minus one half because one over two, and plus or minus one fourth. Okay. There, that's all of them. That's better. Let's try negative one half. Four times negative one half is negative two. Negative two times negative one half is uh, positive one. That's a six. So six times negative one half is negative three, and that's a zero, and we've done it. Okay. So, start out as a cubic, we're down to a quadratic. Four x squared minus 2x plus 6 equals 0. Now we go ahead and solve this. Will this factor? Um, 3 and 2 I believe it will. I believe it will be 4 or no. Let's see if this works. 2x 2x and then minus 3 plus Oh no. It will not factor because that's going to give me a negative 6. So here we go again. We're back into the quadratic. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4a, oops, c all over 2a. Here we go. 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus uh, 24 times 4, that would be 96 all over 8. 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 92 all over 8. 2 plus or minus i root 92, and that's divisible by 4. It's 23 times 4, so do this, 2 plus or minus i root 4 root 23, there, that's better, over 8, so we'll go right here. So 2 plus or minus 2i root 23 over 4, I can reduce all these, so it's 1 plus or minus i root 23 over 2. There's two answers, and my third answer was negative one half because that's what I plugged in and got the correct answer. Okay? Um, it's finding rational roots. P over Q. Again, P is the constant factors. Q is the leading coefficient factors. Use synthetic division to get it to a quadratic. Then solve the quadratic. We'll see you in class.